What's up everybody? Welcome to my new video. This is from the last video, so we have make a copy. And we completed it, so we're on to the next one. Function overload. So what if you want to accept an argument that can't be either an ints or a double? Or some function parameters to be optional. Okay, so this is called function overloading. So here we have two functions. I still don't get it, by the way. But here we have two functions. We have the character let. Same one, so print cat ears, print cat ears, void doesn't return anything. All it does is it prints, right? It has a C out. And notice just the names and how it's an integer. And then this one's a character. So it's only a, a character is a string, but it's like a single character, a single word, letter, number. But this one's an actual number, so it's a little bit different. So is this like, so it's the same one, it looks like, same exact one, but they just have two of them, is that what it is, they just have two, you can call both functions, yeah I'm, I'm trying to look at the name but they look exactly the same, and so depending on what you input that's the function that it calls I'm assuming. So now we're over here. So we're creating fancy number operations. Unfortunately, your friend had no idea of the function overloading was a thing. So they built different functions with different names. Okay, so I'm assuming these are all going to have the exact same names. Just like it says right here. Same name, fancy number. But... They're going to have different types. So integer, fancy integer, uh, I don't know what that is. So double integer. Oh, this is going to be the optional one. So integer, but optional with the third, the third option. Change the function names in the following places so that fancy number is overloaded. This one's, okay, so we're going to change it in in HPP and CPP so let's go here first all we got to do is just literally change the names according to that that should be fine now we just got to change the names here as well I don't know if fancy it was a fancy integer wait oh okay okay it's fancy number because it's not gonna be a, it could be an integer or it could be a double so we're just gonna say fancy number that's like a more generic term and there it is, fancy number three different, but with the exact same name, different functions, double, and then ints, and then we have a, an extra one here that has ints. And there's no fourth one with three doubles, just, you know, it has to, it's going to have to be an integer with three, and this should pass right here, or not, fancy integer right here, got to change them on the main as well. Because it's, it's calling a function that doesn't exist. There we go. So they work on all of them. So now we're getting into function templates. So it may not be a good idea to just create three functions for different types. And so that's when templates come in. So just by looking at the animation, we have a float. Boom. So T. T apparently is the... This is what the function is going to be. It's not, it doesn't have a specific thing yet. So with that, it's going to be string. And it'll output a string. With that, it's going to be a float. I don't know if this is a good idea though. Because may, maybe some functions, you don't want them to have any type. And we'll end it right here. Thank you guys for watching. Y'all have a good ass day. Peace out.